I am a kid sniper. I don't know what that means. Anyways, guys, how's it going? It's me, the Don't Talk Who Here to talk about Kids Niver Episode 3. Or not episode 3, well, wow. episode 2. So it's only the second episode. I'm just in the camera. Episode 2, and I mean, episode 1, you know, it kind of sold me on the anime. And then, you know, episode 2 is like, okay, they gotta do their missions and whatnot. I was like, okay, how the frick are they? What are they supposed to do? with these kids that now feel the same pain and whatnot. Like, what the frick is their purpose? What is their mission? What's their goal? What do they make them try, try to make them do? And it's pretty funny because basically this whole episode was self-introductions. Self-introductions and really unique self-introductions in the case where they have to confess like some dark seek, some secret about themselves and whatnot, right? And this is like to get to know themselves better so that they can bond together as kids neighbors and sort of feel their pain or something like that. And wow, I mean like we sort of we sort of learn it. <laughs> we, we still learn like some sudden stuff here guys, so let's get on with the first introduction. Um I don't know his name because I have to go and remember that, but Mad Dog dude, the one with like the red I think that looked like Kamina here, and not not even Kamina, but basically the like the gangster dude who's like Mad Dog supposedly like he's like um like a gangster or something like that, right? And how he's actually afraid of dogs, even though he's like this like scary tough looking dude. And he's like oh he's the rumored Mad Dog, like don't mess with him, right? He's actually really afraid of dogs, and like you know he's like takes all of his time to avoid dogs and like know who has dogs, their routines and whatnot. It's like wow this guy. He's like, he seems pretty like scary at the outside. He's like almost like, if you guys watch Persona 4, he's like Kanji. Like, you know, he seems like really threatening on the outside. Like, you know, he's like, you know, beat someone up, right? But then he's actually, you know, like, he's not all that bad, right? And then next, we had Nico, who doesn't actually believe in fairies, even though she does all that crazy shit, right? And it's just like, uh, dude, this girl's like, oh, praying to the fairies and whatnot. And like, oh, She's like so weird and kinky, right? But that's because she's like from a rich family. She's like all perfect, right? And she wants to, you know, break out of that perfect shell and perfect label, right? And, you know, be treated something besides perfect. So she does like the whole fairy thing and she acts like really eccentric and whatnot in everything she does. And like, you know, it's like, oh, I don't really believe in fairies. That's all a lie. You know, it's like, dude, this is like really getting into it. It's like they're revealing everything about themselves. She already doesn't really know what she what she's trying to tell or talk to herself about yet but they, we'll get to that later next is the other guy i forget his name but basically the dude who always tries to be the popular guy in the anime and how apparently like in middle school he was like really fat and chubby and i, I think he was like that like a advertisement guy and then eventually like he got he lost hella weight in high school because he just really wanted to and I mean, I can see why he did that and why he acts the way he does. It's like, you know, this guy is just like the, the try hard dude who tries to be popular, right? It's like, oh no, he actually, you know, works his way to become that. So, like, okay, that's fine, that's fine. So, you know, we got like four down. Honoka, I know her name because her name's really easy for me to remember, runs off. It's like, you know what? I don't want to do any of this. Screw this, I'm out. <laughs> that's basically it. Just like, you know, I don't want any part of this stuff. I want to go introduce myself. Next, it goes to Katsuhira who then is like freaking dangling off a freaking construction building crane thing like on the verge of death right it's like oh can I do my self injunction and then I forget her the other girl's name the one who put them all through this um so who knows but you know that's who I'm talking about right so like oh Katsuhira does his, um his speech it's like oh you know I haven't really like felt anything like I don't really know what it means to like be expecting from others and you know I'm just like whatever right and then Shinori comes up and then she's all like, she starts to reveal everything about herself and he's like, you know what, Katsuhira, or did I say her name? Chidori? Right, Chidori, right? And she comes up, does her self injunction, she reveals everything about herself. It's like, oh, you know, you used to be super happy, Katsuhira, you used to be like funny, Katsuhira used to be like this and this, except now I don't know what you're thinking and it's really getting emotional. It's like, wow, this is like, she's laying, she's dropping the mic, guys, and then. She's like saying all this stuff. She jumps after him, like on the freaking crane, and, like try to like talk to him, right? And like they're on the verge of death. That's like, um, Chidori, like I know you want to like save this dude that you like, but like, can we get off the thing and like try to save yourself or something like that? So she's like telling everything. It's like you know, I miss the old way that you were. Like oh, I want to really know what you're thinking or anymore. Like it's all this stuff because I like you, right? It's like that was a pretty cool convention. I'll give it that. But then like you know. 
It was really heartwarming and like, you know, she freaking jumps like right into his face on the crane on the verge of death just to tell him this. And the crane breaks, they're falling to their death, but then Shiratori, I think that's her name, the one who's like pulling all the strings here, like has a freaking that damn erase freaking bounce castle thing to catch them in their fall on the floor away from them. And then they're just like, oh, haha, just kidding. You got you, you told the you did your introduction, you get to live sort of thing right and then Kazuhira is like oh can I redo my introduction please and then now he's like thinking like okay you know I don't really still I still don't really understand these things but hearing that Chidori said she liked me made me really happy and I'm thinking I'm really happy to hear that she liked me right and he's like oh she's feeling emotions like you know he doesn't feel pain he's like sort of like has this mysterious thing to like okay how do people understand me and whatnot how I don't understand myself, but he understands himself right now that like, you know, oh, she likes me. I'm happy for that. Like, yes, this guy is freaking thing. And I mean, the one girl who's like pulling the strings here, like she knows Katsuhira and is like, oh, you baka, you, you forgot the things we did in the past or whatever. <laughs> that sounded a little wrong, but forget that. So then like, you know, okay, they got all their confessions out except Honoka. I was like, okay, we're, well, Honoka went off and saw some freaking crazy ass nightmare thing going on. So we'll just leave her in the next episode. Like, no, she comes up with a mic. It's like, oh, it's time to do my self injunction. And then it basically goes like this. It's like, my name is Hanaka, and I killed someone before. And I was like, what? And that's what the episode is. It's like, damn. So, like, you know, that nightmare she was experiencing in the morgue, that shit was real. And that's probably the person that freaking died in her past. So she supposedly killed someone, but I have a hypothesis that it's probably like, self-defense or something like that or like you know this there's, there's something to it like you know she didn't actually physically kill her but like this she she blames herself for this person's death or something like that so i mean we're we're getting to this point like you know these seven no it's not seven because i know in the opening there's one person missing from this whole experiment thing going on we'll probably see him later but this these there are three six people six people for now the, these six people have introduced themselves, have revealed like their secrets, their past and whatnot to these themselves and like you know they could technically like get together They're like oh you know I understand your past but it's all good and whatnot and like I really think that these people could be friends technically that's how the anime is going anyways so I mean for now we'll probably see more of this anime and what these kids nivers have to do with their marks and whatnot and their duties in the next episode so anyways guys like the video if you enjoyed like the video if you liked Chidori's confession because I thought that was freaking kawaii and cute as well and you know subscribe because next week episode 3 will come out and I might cover it I might reveal more stuff to this anime or I just might cover more animes this season too there's like High Fruity and ReZero, technically. So anyways guys, if you have any questions, comments, or what are your thoughts on this anime, is like, oh, you know, Chidori's cute, like, that confession was pretty cool, like, how she jumped into that crane to save Katsuhira, is like, oh my gosh, like, why the frick you do that, and all that stuff. Tell me in the comment section below, or tell me at my Twitter, at the Double Taku right here, because, you know, this anime is pretty cool, and I made a reference to this, you know, while I was talking about High Fruity, because, like, you know, it's pretty cool, interesting where they're going with this, you know, this whole pain thing going on. Like, it's, it's a pretty good story, and I'm really invested into this. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. I'll see you guys on the next video on the Don't Talk You Anime Channel. So, take care, guys, and matane, because we are kids nightmares, and you can share my pain right here. You see this? Share my pain, too, guys. See you guys then.